Hey, what is up guys? It's Brennan here and today we're going to be taking a look at You Can Book Me, which is a free online scheduling tool that you can use for your small business to plan, schedule, and book those online meetings. So you're able to bring in money in your business through scheduling and meeting with those clients that want to pay you in order to meet with you and so you can help them in whatever it is that you solve for them, right? So whatever you uh, help your clients with, then you can make money with the You Can Book Me platform uh, and create a free booking page as well. Again, I do want to stress this is a free online scheduling tool. They do have a free version as well as some other paid versions, which we're going to be taking a look at here in today's video, as well taking a look at the pricing and a general overview of You Can Book Me. I'm also going to be showing you how to create a free booking page with You Can Book Me as well. So stay tuned. You can learn all of that here in today's video. And before we dive into things, of course, I do want to mention to smash that like button. It really does help out the channel. So without ado, let's go ahead and dive into things. So taking a look here at You Can Book Me, uh, it could be a very popular, you know, alternative to using something like Calendly and you can actually accept payments on the free version of You Can Book Me, which is a really strong benefit to utilizing a platform like You Can Book Me. I know I've taken a look at a lot of different online scheduling platforms here on the channel, so I figured I would take a look here at this platform as well. Now, taking a look just as a general overview, again, they are a online scheduling solution made specifically for small businesses, like I mentioned. So you, this could be someone like a coach, uh, a photographer, a financial planner, planner, a real estate consultant, communications consultant, as you can see here with a few different examples that they have. Uh, this could also be utilized for not only just individuals, but also teams and small businesses. Do keep in mind, if you do have a team that is more so on the paid version, the free version is only available for just individuals, uh, but this could also work for beauty and personal care. Again, financial coaches, people that help with budgeting, things like that, uh, creative services, education, uh, finance, healthcare, and medical. So they do have things built around medical scheduling as well. I know a lot of you guys have to be sensitive with like HIPAA information uh, in the scheduling software game. So they do have that available here as well. As for nonprofits, professional services, retail and sports and fitness. So maybe if you are a fitness coach, uh, you could also do something like that or even, you know, something like yoga classes, as you can see here. Uh, namaste. My name is Jill. So you have a few different options as far as the different types of businesses that you can really utilize. You can book me for uh, any type of coaching, consulting, any type of client service business where you need to set up appointment times for people to book and in order to accept payments through this platform uh, as well, which is something I do really like. As you can see, they do handle a lot of bookings from just the bookings today to month and all time. Uh, quite a lot here and you can create an entire business page just on a single page here uh, getting started for free. So we're going to be taking a look at how to use uh, You Can Book Me in just a moment as well uh, on how to get set up with it as well as we're going to be diving into the pricing plans in just a moment as well. I do want to stress that you can actually make money even on the free version, take payment when they book so you don't have to chase invoices or reconciling payments. And it's all just built into the one platform, which can really save you a lot of time. You can accept things like Apple Pay, Google Pay, and credit and debit cards, as well as offering discount codes and packaging uh, packages, as well as a full integration with Stripe. So Stripe is the payment uh, gateway that they do utilize here with You Can Book Me, uh, but it is pretty easy to get set up with a Stripe account as well. Um, you know, you could e very easily do that. I have tutorials here on the channel as well talking about Stripe. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the pricing as well. They do have a lot of different integrations, just to name a few, you know, Gmail, uh, Analytics, Zoom, Calendar, Outlook, Zapier, if you want to set up some automations, of course, Stripe. So you do have a lot of integrations here as well with You Can Book Me. Now, quickly taking a look at the pricing. Now, I do want to stress that this pricing is accurate as in the making of today's video. Be sure to check out You Can Book Me's pricing page to get the most realistic and up-to-date pricing. I always just have to say that disclaimer because pricing is always subject to change, but at least when the free version... The only thing that would maybe change is some of the features, but the free version is available and it is pretty nice. You do get a singular booking page. You get one calendar connection as well, which is something that honestly, from my comparisons of a lot of other scheduling software, a lot of them don't include the calendar connection. Uh, so that is something pretty nice that they do include even on the free version. And the other big thing, again, I know for a lot of you guys starting out with a small business is being able to actually take payments on your booking platform as well without having to pay for a premium version. I know that's a big complaint of something like Calendly or other popular uh, scheduling tools. So that is available on the free version. If you do have uh, multiple users and things like that, then you would have to either go to the professional or team version, uh, especially mainly the team version if you're going to be scheduling and coordinating across multiple different types of people. 
Um, that's if you have multiple calendar uh, con calendar connections and if you have a lot of different team members and things like that. Um, if you just need multiple booking pages, you could even just go with the individual plan, uh, which does give you a little bit more options when it comes to you know some customizations, uh, but you really can get the basics done with the free version. They do also offer a two week free trial if you wanna try out some of the premium versions, as well as if you're looking to actually subscribe to the other paid versions, they do also have a yearly and a two year discount even as well which is pretty nice if you're uh, ready to lock in with You Can Book Me. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the actual software here. So taking a look, this is what it will look like once you've gotten signed up with You Can Book Me. This is the page that you will be greeted with. Hey, Joe Schmo, that's just the name I use for every uh, software tutorial video. Uh, so let's create your first booking page together. This will take just 60 seconds. So we're gonna go ahead and create uh, a first booking page. As you can see, you can customize it, uh, personalize notifications, offer service, to take payments and share with clients to start taking bookings. So we're just going to go ahead and click that here. As you can see, very easy to get set up with You Can Book Me. Um, very, very simple user process. So your booking page title, Joe Schmo, uh, we're just going to leave that here. Uh, and booking page intro, this is where you could say a little introduction to your about yourself, like, hello, uh, this is my coaching uh, brand and business, uh, something like that. You know, you could obviously type that up a lot more if you wanted uh, some additional information there, maybe a little about yourself. Again, that is optional. We're gonna go ahead and click next. So you can see it live, like what it is actually going to look like. Now, if you do want the actual customized colors that is on the uh, individual plan, so that is on the paid version. Uh, so they do make it pretty clear here as to what is paid and what's free. Uh, I believe this image, you can add an image here uh, for free on the free version. So we're gonna go ahead and just add an image here. Um, let's go with this like little logo I have here. Update the image. Uh, so we do have the image there. So you can at least add a picture of yourself to help people kind of identify like who you are and what you're about in your business. But the colors are on the premium version. Same thing with like the day or agenda view. We're just gonna go ahead and click next now that we added our logo, our brand logo, or you could even just add an image of yourself. Uh, again, a lot of people using this for like personal client services. It makes sense just to upload a photo of yourself. Uh, how long are your meetings for? So you can set this to one hour, 30 minute meetings, depending on what your standard meeting length is. Uh, again, maybe if you're in sales, it might only be 15 minutes, or if you're selling something, then it could be 30, probably an hour, honestly, in most cases. And you can toggle between if you want the weekends on or if you want the weekends off. Uh, by default, it'll just be Monday through Friday. You can also be like, ah, I don't wanna work Wednesdays or maybe I'll just take Fridays off. So you can have Monday through Thursday and you can set your specific offer office hours here as well. So maybe you wanna work and have your overall availability nine to five. You can also set it up as mornings as eight to 12, afternoons one to five, or evenings six to 10, or you can even set up custom hours as well uh, and add specific intervals during the day. Maybe this is when you have breaks in the day, depending on maybe if this is like uh, a side hustle or something like that, you could also set up certain specific time intervals that you're available to be booked outside of maybe your typical day-to-day -day schedule. Um, so that is nice that they have those options here as well, besides just like kind of standard hours, or you could just select the evenings. Depends on when you want to get booked, right? You get regular office hours, Monday through Thursday. You can always go back and change that. We're going to click next. Uh, and then one other thing that is nice, you can pick one of these calendar connections on the free version, and that'll automatically add new bookings to your calendar so that everything is synced and so that you're not double booked as well. Again, this is really crucial if you are someone who actually has other things in your day to day that block out your schedule, or if you are pretty avid with utilizing a calendar, this will then prevent you from actually getting double booked. So if you have that set up, you can connect to Google Calendar, Microsoft Calendar, or iCloud Calendar. Uh, you also also have a few other options here as well. I have not personally heard of these other options. Um but you know, you can always come back and make changes to your calendar later. Uh, one option that you could do as well, maybe if you do have multiple different calendars, something to keep in mind is you could uh, externally sync like an iCloud and a Microsoft and a Google together externally so that they're all on the same page. And then you just link the one hub, which typically would probably be the Google or Microsoft calendar. And then you just link that one here to you can book me and then it all kind of syncs together. So there are ways to kind of stitch the other ones together on the back end. Uh, but that is far besides Besides this tutorial, but I just figured I would mention that here in case you're not aware of that, you can also link those 
separately, but you just pick one of these here as to which is sort of your main source of truth. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set, click set up calendar later. Uh, and then we have uh, how do you want to meet? So you can then set up a location. Now, this is something I really like about You Can Book Me is that they have a lot of options for locations. This is something that I'll honestly, a lot of the other booking apps don't do a great job at in terms of managing multiple different types of you know, locations that you're going to be setting up your meetings. Cause I honestly, a lot of times it's like the meeting link is wrong or something is different, or it's like, it'll automatically set up a meeting link, even though technically you're set to meet in person or something like that. Or, you know, you can easily come in here and have these nice options between zoom, Google meet, Microsoft Teams, in-person meeting, you can set a specific address. You have a phone call, ask for Booker's phone number. Uh, request location, ask Booker to enter an address. Uh, custom location, so a static video link or other text, or no location, as location is not necessary. So this is really good. All these different options here, especially the asking for specific locations or phone calls, that could be really good. Maybe if you're using this as like for a plumbing business or something, right? You can really get kind of out of the box here in terms of all the different types of businesses that might need proper scheduling done uh, and really simplify the overall process with you can book me uh, if you're not even just doing traditional like zoom meet or teams meetings you can set up things with these in-person phone call and locations that's something that definitely sets you can book me apart from a lot of the other apps that are more so just focused on like uh, is it in person or is it an online meeting and that's the only two options right you actually have uh, quite a few different to select from depending on how the nature of your business is. So in this case, we're just going to go with the standard here. If you did now, if you did do zoom, uh, it will actually ask you for the login and things like that in zoom. Um, we're going to go ahead and go back and create the booking page. And we're just going to go no location necessary, right? Just, just for the sake of simplicity here, because it will make you sign in and link your Zoom, Google Meets, Teams accounts. Same with the uh, in-person meeting, setting an address, things like that. Uh, custom location. We're just going to go no location. Uh, obviously, you, I would not recommend sending no location because obviously uh, more than half of recorded no-shows happen when there's no location set. Right. You want to set you know, a specific location there, but we're just going to do that for the sake of this tutorial. And now we are building out the page so we can see what the page looks like here. We're going to go ahead and click view my page. And this is what the calendar view looks like live once you have set it up. So hello, this is my coaching brand and business, Joe Schmo, uh, one hour booking durations, as well as the little image here. Uh, we can click on the today and then it will jump to the today's date. You can go in the future next month, um, and then far out there. So you can go all the way up like several months in advance if you want to set up bookings that way. Um, we're just going to go ahead and go with uh, December 31st. Uh, and then you can scroll through here and select times. As you can see, it was nine to nine to five. So uh, it automatically calculates based on the one hour time intervals. Uh, as to the schedule, we're going to go with like 10 a.m. And then this is where you would enter in some information to confirm the booking. And uh, in this case, you know, you can go ahead and add in a name. So we're going to go with Joe uh, and we'll just go with, you know what, we'll just go with that. And we're going to go ahead and confirm the booking here. Uh, thanks, Joe. You'll see a notification confirming the meeting details shortly. So you can see, obviously, there's no location set. And that's the overall sign up process. Very easy for clients to go through here. Now, I have not actually set up payments in this case. Um, if you want to do that, you can easily go in and edit the booking page, go to the bookings. We're going to go ahead and click view bookings so that we can see uh, what that booking looks like. As you can see here, we have Joe and Joe Schmo. Uh, set here as well as a meeting, I guess, with you can book me even uh, <laughs> uh, on the net tomorrow at 9 a.m. I guess that's like a standard meetings that they set. You can reschedule, cancel. Um, you can see upcoming, you can see past meetings, you can go to date range, really get a good view of like meetings that have already happened. I really like the interface here. Very, very easy to understand, very simple. Uh, if we take a look here, so we have the upcoming bookings, we go back to the homepage. Uh, you can easily come here and copy the booking page here. Now, if you are going to be taking payments, then this is what you would click here. You click take payments, uh, and this will show you step-by-step -step on how to set up your Stripe account. Uh, with you can book me. So pretty easy setup here. Uh, you're just going to go to integrations, connect again, they have this whole tutorial linked here. So uh, no need in, in recreating that here in this video here today. Uh, but it is a pretty easy setup. As you can see here, they have pretty step-by-step -step setup. 
uh, even with their YouTube video here on taking payments on your booking page. Um, so that's what that process would look like here. We also have the Chrome extension, uh, which you can also add to maybe suggest times v email, as you can see what that would look like here. You click the times, you can copy them uh, and then paste them into an email. As you can see here on screen, this little GIF here, uh, and then it will automatically add the meeting times to your email if you are emailing with clients. And you can also create uh, automatic video meeting links as well if you need to do that here. You also have the upcoming bookings that you can easily see what bookings are upcoming. If we go to pages, as you can see, we just have the one page here on the free version. Uh, you can also get notifications if you link Slack or something like that. You can also create templates. Now I get the templates are on the premium version. So if you just need the basic, you can click here, view page. Uh, we also have the bookings, the team page. Again, this is on the premium version. Same thing with templates here, as well as some of the analytics. But if you just need a basic booking page, you can view your bookings, click the page and come back here. And that's as quick. I mean, really <laughs> going through here and actually uh, creating these here, very quick and easy, as you can see here. Uh, to pop that up. Now, if you wanted to come back in and edit the times, you can always come back in here uh, and actually edit this here as far as more specifics. If you wanna add some more details here to your page, you can preview it uh, as well and see the booking page link. You can also uh, come in here and see you know, additional settings as far as availability duration. So you can also edit some of the additional hours that you're not available. You can add specific intervals during the day that you are available. So if you wanna work in like a lunch break or something, very easy to do that here. Uh, you can also set it to be calendar managed if you have everything set in a specific schedule. That is again on the professional plan. So if you just set up the basic repeating, as long as it's um, set up and linked with your calendar, the calendar will block out the times automatically that you are booked elsewhere. So it will avoid the double booking. Um, so then you just set up your repeating times of your typical availability. You can also come in here on the premium versions and set some more additional settings here. Again, not focusing too much here on the premium settings uh, because I get a lot of people are probably just gonna looking for, be looking for the free version, uh, but they do also have group bookings, things like that. You can also add padding to them. So uh, they also have different appointment types and services. Uh, you have obviously the, the booking form as well that you can also edit here. Uh, even on the free version, if you maybe have multiple choice, if you also have some long answer, short answer, things that you need people to answer, uh, you can also add notes and things like that to your booking page. So this can actually be really great. Uh, if you, maybe you need to collect some additional information from your users, uh, maybe even multiple choice questions here as well. As you can see, uh, it then updates here on the preview. Uh, as you can see, we have the notes section. Uh, we're going to go ahead and save changes on the drop down again option one option two so if we see what that looks like live here uh, we have the please choose option one option two uh, so that is also pretty cool that you can also add this to the intake form uh, on your booking page which is honestly a lot more dynamic <laughs> editing than you can do on a lot of other booking apps especially for the free version too uh, which is pretty pretty cool in my opinion again if you want to collect payments you just click here uh, and you're going to take payments. Now do keep in mind that you can book me takes 1% commission per payment. That's pretty standard, honestly, because a lot of times uh, you're going to need to, you know, pay some sort of processing fee. So let's say it's like $300 per booking. Uh, that would be set up here. So you can see $300 per booking is the pricing. So you can see there on the little tag um, here, what that, that price point would look like here on the left. Uh, and they can confirm the booking. And again, you will need to set up a Stripe account through their tutorial here. Again, if you need to connect to Stripe account, it will then link you over to Stripe. Uh, so you can go ahead and connect for those secure payments with your You Can Book Me link. Uh, but again, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video here on You Can Book Me, right? There's a lot of settings. You can also even set up uh, some additional information here like thanks you'll receive a notification come through here and really edit you know a lot of the settings here uh, even on the free version 
uh, in terms of what your booking page actually looks like. You really do have a lot of flexibility. In terms of the customizations that come along with You Can Book Me, even on the free version. So again, pretty easy to get set up with. Definitely would recommend checking them out for another great free online scheduling app. Again, guys, if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.